we've got a really consistent swell that's been rolling in this morning. So there's lots of ways for the competitors to choose from. And it's just being selective, like Jen Smith is doing right now, and looking for a way that's going to have a nice long shoulder for her. Now, so Jen Smith, uh, Wingnut, picking up on the inside section here. We've been watching the surf conditions all morning. Obviously, the call for green light for go. Local time here just approaching 8 o'clock in the morning here in China. And, uh, you know, looking at the conditions now, we will have an outgoing tide for the day. Do you think that's going to play a big part uh, in the wave quality, or do you think it actually improves it? I, I think it could. I think I think that will clean it up a little bit, let the, uh, the point break itself reveal itself more, and the wave will stand up a little bit better throughout the throughout the day as that tide drops. All right, so not a big tidal range uh, to talk about here on this 18 degrees north of the equator latitude, uh, around a about... Uh Oh, about two and a half feet of tide. I worked it out on the graph here. Beautiful nose ride uh, taking place here, Wingnut. Be and again, she visits the nose. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that walking because that was really, really clean and critical the way she uh, she just executed through the inside. Now she's finding that little re-loop on the inside here. Yeah, that wave really played right into her. She read it really well. It positioned those turns where the wave face is going to set up in front of her and allows her to cross step and walk to the nose again. So that's that's really going to be the best wave we've seen this morning ridden so far. And you see how it sets up even all the way to the inside and you know kicking out with control. That's that's the number one wave we've seen so oh, far this morning. Oh, we're getting morning. some beach yeah. applause yeah. early on here. Justine Morvine from Brazil in the blue singlet nails a great ride. That'll pretty much set the standard for this round one now, right? From the from the panel. Yeah, I, I'm sure the judges will use that one as the high benchmark and actually justine's from reunion let's okay. uh, yeah she's from reunion she's used to an island this one uh perhaps has less sharks than reunion has in the current problems on her island well we'll talk a little bit more about that <laughs> but uh, yes my apologies to our french uh, viewers uh, she is from reunion island uh, it's still early in the morning yeah, yeah? Uh, we were up in the dark obviously to get to start here we go live surfing at the jeep world longboard champs Little tweak turn there from our athlete in white on the backhand. Now, she's, she's been quite conservative here, Wingnut, but she's obviously trying to find a little pocket and get that board trimming. Right. She wants that wave to set up in front of her so she has a chance. It's a nice switch foot drop knee turn she did, but she's just hoping that wave would give her a better face so she could, you know, extend the nose ride and do a bigger turn, and that wave just wasn't, wasn't uh, producing for her. So Tihara Basso from yeah. Brazil in white wraps up that ride but definitely justine morvine setting a benchmark score there we wait for that number to drop in uh we're not getting our live scores just yet here uh, but we'll uh, we'll try and peg a number on that wing nut because i think that's going to visit the excellent category yeah i i think it will i think that's really going to be our 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 benchmark that we're going to see we'll see what jen does with this one if this is going to give her uh, a long enough face nice Nice rail turn there. Now she's setting up, kind of stalling to see if she's going to get to the nose. But she just kind of drifted out of the back of that wave because the tide's a little high. It didn't have enough push to keep her into it. And, you know, Wingnut, we were talking about the, uh, the rhythm of the ocean here. Now we are in a smaller ocean basin, so to speak, the South China Sea here. And uh, we're looking at about a 10-second period of o open ocean swell here. So the way you want, you, whether you want to fade the wave into a peak or run away from it as it sets up. And when you have priority, you know you can take off on the wave the way you want. That's Jen Smith right there again in red. And she set up that wave right in that nice little bowl. Now she's putting a little stall on the tail there, hoping to get a nose ride. Cuts back into the white water there. And again, keeping her eye on it down the line to see if it's going to set up where she can cross step up to the nose. This little inside section should do it. Nice turn back into the white water, setting it up, letting that wave develop in front of her. Just nice and clean. That's a very classic California surf style you're seeing from Jen Smith. Lives down in the uh, North San Diego County area and uh, is spending a lot of her time uh, as a chef these days. So she's gone to culinary school and uh, transitioning into the real world from past world champion. And I, and I think it's pretty fair as far as the, I mean, I don't think the surf will get as big and heavy as, as Hawaii gets, but as far as South Shore and Waikiki and, and a real fun kind of surf, a couple feet overhead, you can find that on Hainan. Well, our Brazilian competitor, uh, Tihara Brasso, through to the inside. 
a little crossover there, uh, wing that. Let's talk a little bit more about that walking. Uh, we still, you know, I, I want to understand a little <laughs> bit more about uh, the subtleties of uh, of of the way the foot the footwork uh, is executed on the on the top. Deck. Well, it's a it's a, a warm morning here in China. If you're uh, somehow just found your way to us. It is the Jeep World Longboard Championships, and we are unfolding round one of competition here. And it is the ladies in the Jeep World Longboard Champs, and we are in the first televised heat coming out of China. Yeah, there we are, and that's Tiara again from Brazil. Found a nice wave that looks like it'll connect to the inside. She's going up to the front to see if she could help keep herself in, but yeah. that tide's still a little full. It won't allow that wave to connect all the way to the sand nurture this wonderful natural resource and jewel that they have sitting here in the China Sea. They've come to realize that tourism is such a strong renewable you know, economic boost. Yes. And by you know, hosting for the last five years the World Longboard Championships here, they, they've done that. They've started to promote and help protect this island. Well, good wave unfolding here again for our athlete in blue and she's done a good job, our reunion surfer. And I'll tell you what, uh, Wingnut, she's uh, posting up another excellent score here. Yeah, she has. She's done really well figuring out this wave this morning. What's nice, though, about the first round... And it's all... You can feel it's about to explode, right? It is, and the surfing was brought here by a lot of the expats that worked in mainland China. And they figured out this island was here. They figured out the exposures. And a lot of them changed what they were doing so they could move down here and create a life on this island because there were no crowds. Very few places you can go in the world today and not have a crowd. Well, that's for sure. And we'll talk a little bit more about the history shortly as we're watching another ride unfold here for our Brazilian surfer, Tihara Brasso. She's uh, connecting through that inside. They're just uh, using her upper body to swing that rail here, Wingnut. What do you call that little move there, a little drop knee reverse that, uh, that cutback? Was, yeah, that was a cross-step cutback where she just for that drop knee turn. It's, it's stylish. It's, it's functional as well. I mean, that's the key is style and function together. Sure. You know, we're not doing anything extraneous. It has to work. It has to have a purpose and get it to go where you want. And then you're going to lay it back down and hopefully get a nice nose right out the end of it. There's Jen Smith in red taking a look at that one. It didn't hold up. It did not have a long enough end. It wasn't worth her time to go chase that one down. So uh, we're approaching 90 seconds remaining in this heat. Uh, fair to say, Wingnut, that uh, our surfer in blue in command here, yeah, possibly, as uh, we don't have those live scores just yet for you. Having a look uh, on the inside here, this is your American in motion. Yeah, that's Jen Smith looking at her last wave. She heard that 90-second call. So she's just trying to get one to bring her into the beach. She's in the... That's a classic California move. <laughs> Let's just get in there. So, uh, yeah, surfing fans got lots to uh, stick with during uh, the uh, following few days. What a quick little nose ride there. That was real pretty. That's a nice way to end her heat. She'll be coming in on that one. That was her last wave. That was Justine from Reunion. And the heat's ending in the next two seconds. There we go. They'll come gliding in as the competitors in the next round are, are out there. Congratulations. That's so cool. Thank All right. Wait, enjoy, enjoy your round three Thank heat. Thank you very much. All right.